what is up everybody this is Hasib and welcome to another high level video in this video we are gonna discuss something really important that the beginners or just those who are getting started with high level are really confused about I'm gonna speak about these two things over here which are custom fields and custom values now if you go to settings on a sub account and if you come over here uh, which says custom fields you will see a bunch of data and Pretty similar is custom values, though entirely not the same. Uh, I'm going to discuss these two things and hopefully you won't be confused after today. Now, to begin with, custom fields are attributes of the leads that are coming into the system. By that, what I mean is if you have a roofing sub account in your high level agency account, basically you have a roofing go high level account like this one, you will have leads coming to the system. Like leads will have different attributes like uh, some of the basic attributes are full name, email address, phone numbers, address and things like this. But what are the things that are specific to the company for that lead? Like what are the questions that you're asking to the lead that will be helpful to your company? Like uh, what type of roofing service you need? Uh, what's the most convenient date or time? You want us to come over and give you a free roof inspection and stuff like that if it's an, another type of uh, company like if it's an SEO agency we could have like custom fields saying what type of uh, digital marketing service do you want what's your website address where are you based in how many uh, how many clients do you want per month so these are the questions you were asking if it was an SEO go high level count and another thing about custom fields is you can take user input. Like if you have a custom field here, as you can see, roof maintenance service, roof repair, roof uh, replacement. These are custom fields basically. Now you could take user input from a lead for these custom fields. As I've said earlier, it's it says contact dot roof maintenance service. That means it's an attribute of the contact, not the account. So each contact will have a field. If I go to the contact, I can show you. So let's go to a basic contact over here. And if I go to here, this is a custom field. Uh, this is also one. This is one. These are the general info. These are the basic attributes. Roof repair, roof replacement. So these are the custom fields I created. So you could take user input through a form or a survey uh, by creating it in high level and take input for this user, Andy Jones. Now let's go back to settings this is what custom fields is all about going to the custom values as i've said custom fields are attributes of the leads that are coming to the system so now custom values are basically the attributes of the account itself like if i have everlasting contractors these are the attributes of the everlasting contractors high level sub account what i mean by that is if uh this is a company this company will have different attributes like basic ones are company name company email company phone number and this is one i created saying google review campaign url if you create a custom value it's basically just a text box as a value and the custom field name like if i want to create one company phone number this could be a custom value and uh, i would just say uh one two three four five six seven eight nine zero things like this so this is a custom value i just created now how will this come in handy imagine we are creating a snapshot out of this company and we are going to reuse it to create similar accounts so we don't have to do the work anymore like we do we don't have to do all these work from scratch we will just copy this as a snapshot and just paste it to the account we are creating now if we have a bunch of custom values like this after creating a new account we would just go and update all these data and that's it that's all we need to do because if we are mentioning the custom values in our emails and sms we don't have to go to each and every sms and email to update those values based on the company all we have to do is come over here settings custom fields and just update all these information that's it that's how you make another account and give it all the information based on that company so this is what custom values is all about and let me show you how to use custom fields and custom values in your sms and email like if i create a workflow let's create from scratch let's add an sms 
So here you can see something called custom values. Now let's say we want to use the custom fields first. What we have to do is, as I've said earlier, custom fields are attributes of the contact or the lead. So what we have to do is let's go to contact all the way down custom fields and these are the custom fields I have for this account. So install message roof maintenance service and stuff like that. These are the custom values. If I click on this, this is the custom field of a contact. Now based on the contact this uh, SMS is being sent to, this will be replaced by the contacts value that high level has for roof maintenance service. This is how custom fields work. Similarly, custom values work like this. Go to custom values, click on custom values over here. These are the custom values I have for this high level account. Just uh, click one of these and this will be replaced by the value I have for this custom value. And this is how these two things work. Basically, one uh, custom field is attribute of the leads that are coming to the system while custom values are the attributes of the account itself. Hope this video cleared your confusion about custom fields and custom values and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like the video. I will create more problem solving videos, hacks and real client project works like this and lots of more useful videos like this and stay in touch. Cheers.